Hello Power News Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today we're going to be taking a look at the first of kind of the two new monsters that everyone is finding right now. Uh, we got of course Pudgy Pig and Eye Guy are being found all over the place and this one should be Eye Guy. So a lot of people are getting Pudgy Pig, uh, including myself of course. Uh, he was up on target, he might still be up on target and I did not get him from target uh, because since I'm getting both versions of Pudgy Pig because I'm like that. Uh, I decided to use an Amazon gift card on the regular version of Pudgy Pig, so I only had to pay, like, not even a dollar for him. And, and Amazon took forever to ship it. They finally shipped it today, so I should be getting it by the weekend. So we'll take a look at him probably, like, early next week. But Target actually shipped out Eye Guy, and it arrived here finally. So, or not finally, I mean, it didn't take that long. Uh, but we have to be really zoomed out for this because it's a big box, because it's one of the big, you know, deluxe-style boxes. Uh, so you can see like my little MCU display right here. Here's Iron Man making a cameo. So, alrighty, let's open this guy up. So yeah, Mighty Morphin Eye Guy. Um, really nice box. I really, really like this one. I mean, it's pretty much a standard lightning collection box, I suppose, that you would expect. Um, mine has like a big cut at the top of it though. That's unfortunate. That's very really unfortunate. Huh. How did that even happen? Because he was in the box like that. I didn't cut that. Huh. Whatever. Anyway. Um, but of course we have the Tom Whalen artwork there. It's like an orange box kind of secondary color, which is interesting because there's like no orange on him anywhere. Um, here's the side of him and the other side of him. So you can see all of his eyes that has but did not paint on here. I mean, they painted a good amount of them. And uh, we got the back, so you can see he also comes with like his big singular eye, um, which is really, really cool. I mean, there's a lot about this that I think is really neat. Um, but honestly, I'm more just kind of surprised that this ended up not being canceled, because this was supposed to be part of Monsters Wave 2, uh, before that, along with Piranha's head, before that wave got officially canceled, and they like kind of restructured him to be his own thing, and Piranha's head to be in Deluxe Wave 1. So now he's kind of associated coming out with Pudgy Pig. Uh, which makes sense, but uh, yeah, here he is. So this is the final release that we needed to have come out from the reveals from the July 2nd Fan First Friday. Um, and then of course we will take a look at his barcode down here. If anybody needs that, there it is. And uh, this was up on the Target website. I'm not sure if it still is, but people are finding it in Targets. I believe he's a four, you know, by himself he's four to a case, so he shouldn't be too hard to find. And he has a good amount of weight in there. So uh, let's go ahead and open him up and uh, take a look at him. All right, so here's Eye Guy out of the box here and uh, everything that you get. And already, my first impressions, this is pretty cool. I like this figure, I think, a lot more than I thought I would. It's still way too huge. It absolutely is way too big of a figure. But it's pretty cool. I think it might be my fa It's probably my favorite of the three monster releases so far. Uh, mainly for this thing right here. You just get a lot of really cool accessories with this thing. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the actual figure itself. So obviously being one of the more terrifying monster designs in all of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, they did a pretty good job with the sculpting. Now, people are going to complain about, I think this figure could use a black wash. I think it's a little too white uh, compared to like the in-show suit. I think that these parts, these kind of rubbery, kind of gray parts that sort of look dirty, um, I think really kind of capture the, the suit design a little bit better other than the kind of shimmery, like just regular white plastic around him. But you know, it's not bad. And obviously, there's like a ton of sculpted eyes on here that are not painted at all. Um, like these ones right here, none of these are painted, but like some of these are, I mean, they get pretty much all of them on the front. I mean, obviously there's some ones on his crotch there, some on his side and stuff that are not painted. I mean, I get it. I think they painted a good enough of them um, that I'm not complaining about that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, and if you really wanted to, you could probably just take some like, you know, just like, especially on these ones where they're just like a little brown circle. And probably fill it in yourself so it's perfectly fine uh, they even got the ones on his feet which wow this dude even has eyes on his feet i didn't really realize that so now i mean i guess it makes sense he's definitely an eye guy um on the back they've painted you know some not as much as on the front uh, obviously there's a ton of little eye bumps around here um there is no head articulation on this dude <laughs> so he just kind of has an articulation there and I don't usually go over our articulation in my lightning collection reviews because it's all pretty much the same and if you watch some of my earlier videos in the lightning library and such you'll get the point uh, but here I want to go over it a little bit because it is a little different kind of I mean it's just because of the build of the figure so like I said you have this kind of ball joint there check that ratchet out guys <laughs> so he has a ratchet in the arm 
Um, and he kind of has that butterfly joint, sort of. Um, he has just a uh, single jointed elbows there. Um, the hands still technically have that little hinge joint, but they don't move very much. Um, let's see, his legs can still rotate there. You can move them around. Uh, they can bend. Looks like he does have, yep, he does have a double jointed knee. So that is nice. And then the foot can rotate a little bit, pretty much as standard. Uh, but like I said, you can't move his entire actual head. Uh, these are sort of that kind of rubbery plastic. It's definitely a lot more of a harder plastic uh, than you would expect from like, than what the hands are kind of made out of. Um, then you get that nice like center eye detail there, which what's really cool is you can close this. You just kind of get your finger in the little flap there and you can close his eyelid. So that's pretty fun. Kind of makes it look like he has like a little grin or something. And then there's this, of course, main eye. This dude is terrifying, <laughs> but it's, I mean, they captured it well. Uh, they captured it very well. So taking a look at his uh, extra hands, they're just fists for his left and right hand, which are just not focusing whatsoever. So there's just two little eyes painted, or one eye painted on this one, two eyes painted on the other one. So makes sense there. You get you yeah, a unique effect piece. Uh, that was a perfect sentence right there. <laughs> so there's that. Now you can do a couple things with this one, which we'll show off here in a minute, uh, because I do like that. The, all the monsters so far have had like unique effect pieces to them. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, because his big accessory here is his center eye. So if you know anything about Eye Guy from the Mighty Morphin episode, uh, his kind of center eye kind of floats out and becomes like a little spying device to like capture children and stuff. At least that's what it did in G Ranger. Uh, we didn't quite go that far in <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers necessarily. Um, but yeah, you actually get his like center eye. It's on this nice like cent uh, clear stand and such with like this green lightning kind of blastish effect wrapped all around it and I'm pretty sure you can't take that off or maybe you totally can <laughs> so you can't take the eye off the stand uh, but you can unpeg this little lightning effect piece and then it kind of just doesn't really peg in there it just kind of rests in there but you can sort of unpeg it and you might be able to kind of nah you probably can't actually get it off the stand but you can kind of unpeg that there uh, for whatever reason if you wanted to and then there's the detail there. It's pretty much just the same detail as like the eye on his big, you know, face there, which makes sense. And you might've noticed these little tabs. So this is gonna be fun. You can pull off this lens, this little lens cap that's on there. You take the effect piece and there's like these little slots that will line up to like where the lens cap was. And then you can plug in this blast effect out of the eye. So that looks really cool. I like that a lot, so it's like a laser eye coming out of there. So that's that's pretty neat. Uh, and if you notice, there is the same, so don't lose this lens cap piece. Uh, there is the same lens cap piece on the eye. But here's the thing, this eye is articulated. You can see it can rotate around in there, kinda. It's I don't really know exactly the range of it. It's kinda hard to get it to move because you just kinda have to get your thumb in there and move it. But if you can get a grip on it, which is a little difficult because of the fact that it moves, you can take the lens out of his eye there and peg in the same effect piece out of the actual figure. So that's pretty cool. And this one kind of works, it makes it look more like it's like a fire breath or something than a laser eye than it just does on the single standing eye. But uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. I like it. So yeah, I mean, that is more or less eye guy. Uh, let's get in some of the other monsters here and a ranger to see the different size comparisons and such like that. All right, so there is Eye Guy with a bunch of other Lightning Collection figures. So here he is with Monsters Wave 1, Pumpkin Rapper, and Keen Sphinx, the Wave 9 Tango Warrior, and then a regular Ranger from Wave 3, Mighty Morphin Red. So as you can see, basically the same size as the monster figures. I don't think he's as big as Emily made him out to be on the Van First Friday. On that live stream, it made it look like he was like towering over even Keen Sphinx. And Keen Sphinx's size is already really bad. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's still huge. It's still way too big for a Ranger. I will kind of show a better comparison one-on-one -on -one with Jason here. Still way too big, uh, in my opinion. I hate the scale of the monsters in the Lightning Collection. I don't understand why. I love the idea of these monster figures, but yet they just, I think, have completely ruined it to me uh, by making them too big. But obviously, I'm going to buy them all. And I mean, it's a very impressive figure. Sculpting-wise, detail-wise, I think it's really great. And I think it's... It's definitely better than Kane Sphinx, and I really liked how Pumpkin Rapper turned out. I think he had fun accessories, and I think he scaled a little bit better. 
but I think he might be my favorite one in terms of maybe just the design, maybe in terms of the functionality with the laser eye and everything. And of course, the fact that you get his big singular eye, I'm sure it is kind of compared. I mean, I can't really fit it in the lineup, but there it is. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I am kind of, uh, kind of warming up to it, but it is still too big. It is still too big. All right, well, that is going to do it for my review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Eye Guy figure that just recently released here. So, of course, be sure to stay tuned for my Pudgy Pig review, which will be coming out in a couple of days. And once that figure finally arrives here, I will put the Target link in the description below for Eye Guy. Don't know if they're going to get more in stock, uh, but you can find them there. I'll also put the Dorkside Toys link in the description below. While they still have a pre-order listed for December, some people have already started to ship for Dorkside, so you might be able to get it there. Hasbro Pulse and Amazon and such still claim an April release date for this guy alongside Wave 10, and obviously it's five months before April, and here we are, so you'll probably be able to get it before April. Uh, but I get it. I get the mentality of waiting until these monster figures go on clearance, especially after what King Sphinx and Pumpkin Rapper did, and if you do, I don't blame you. You would definitely get a better deal with this. But I think this one might be kind of the more worth it of the ones at the $30 price point so far, if not even just for this really well done singular eye. So I really like it. I think it's fun. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it too. So thank you all for watching. And until next time, you can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or at PR. See you all later.